A mother and daughter have lost their lives after a shooting early this morning. Good evening. The women were shot inside a home in Buffalo's Black Rock neighborhood, and their deaths are the latest devastation for their family, already rocked by immense grief. Another family member, Harmony Heim, who is featured in February in a story we did, passed away last week after fighting an extremely rare form of cancer. Tonight, 7 Eyewitness News reporter Olivia Proya speaks with heartbroken loved ones and brings us the latest on where the investigation stands tonight. My niece called from my sister's phone. I was sleeping. Um, I went to voicemail. I woke up. Once I woke up, um, about 15 minutes later, I listened to the voicemail and it was my niece crying, saying, uh, Casey, mom's dying. Or was help, Casey, mom's dying. I love you. Bye. Around 520 Thursday morning, Buffalo police say they were called to this house on Layer Avenue to find 63-year-old mother Margie Ramos and 27-year-old daughter Megan Wazeski dead from gunshot wounds. Can't believe it happened. It shouldn't have. Now there's a little girl that has no mother or grandmother. Megan's six-year-old daughter was found alive inside the house. All I know is my niece is safe. And I'm now the only sibling left out of four, and it's just me and my dad. We were just at uh, their daughter's funeral that they buried two days ago, who died of cancer. Margie's daughter and Megan's sister, Harmony Heim, died from cancer just last week. After her funeral on, on Monday, I, it was, you know, that was emotional enough as it was. I told my sister that I loved her and I needed her. And she said, I know, I need you too. And now I don't even have her. Police say the 36-year-old man suspected of killing both women was found in his apartment on 10th Street in the Allentown neighborhood of Buffalo. After a standoff lasting hours, police say they entered the home to find the suspect had killed himself. I honestly didn't think it, the person that did it was doing it because from any encounter I had with him, he seemed like a nice guy. He didn't seem like the typical person my sister would go for, um, but he was a really nice guy. He treated his... He treated my niece great um, to the point where, you know, when they first split up that she was letting him go see him because she was calling him dead. Police say this was a domestic incident. The shooter was Megan's ex-boyfriend. Police have yet to release his name. Megan's six-year-old daughter is now in the care of family. Olivia Proya, 7 Eyewitness News.